I have settled down in King's March with my wife and two children. And you should too. Sounds like a propaganda video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniel. Path of Exiles 3.25 expansion Settlers of Kolgur released on Friday evening here in Europe and I have been playing it. Yep. With about 22 hours on my character, what's my first impression so far? Best league ever? First off, I jumped into King's March right after entering Act 1. I always interact with the new content during the acts. Now having played quite a bit, my town is fairly upgraded already. So let's take a quick gander. Mining is fairly simple with enough workers and I'm close to getting the next upgrade which will provide gold for the same amount of ore I find in maps. Not having enough gold might soon be a thing of the past. Thank God. <laughs> followed by smelting, which is also straightforward and mandatory to upgrade your town. Right next to it is runesmithing, which was very helpful during the acts. Quickly enchanting my already strong bow gave me a good boost in damage. Then going over to farming, which again is simple. I just try to balance my crops as much as possible and let them do their work. I might switch to specific crops if I figure out what makes me divine orbs. <laughs> this enchantment is fine so far, because I have no real use for the dust, beside shipping, upgrading and recombination. Well, let's just say I was not a fan of recombinators in Sentinel. I will make a video on recombination when I have more data. Shipping is the most important part of the content in my opinion because it actually gets you loot. I sadly haven't had an oh wow moment yet. It's neat, doesn't take a lot of time, but getting three runes and some trash currency is a bit lackluster, but I'm only shipping around 3000 ore. I'm sure I will make some divines if I continue upgrading my town and getting just a lot more ore and farm a lot more produce, preferably pumpkins. I don't know, I just like pumpkins. <laughs> oh, and also mapping. Yeah, that one is rough. I got one exalt out of it once. That's probably the highlight of having thrown in 30 maps. Without going too in depth though, because I think it's better to experience the league than to hear people talk about it, I had and still have a great first experience. Upgrading my stations one step at a time was easy and also very transparent. The game is very open telling you what the next upgrade will involve. The UI and UX is also S tier and just incredibly well done. One thing I'm not so sure about is if filling out every station with the max amount of workers is really a good idea. I feel like I'm just burning through more gold without getting more ore or produce out of it. There might be a sweet spot, but I also don't want to micromanage too much. Speaking of, managing a bunch of workers and upgrading a lot of stuff might seem a bit tedious to some. I can definitely see that, but I do love the long-term progression. For example, back in Scourge, you could upgrade your little skill tree, same with the Sentinel League. I really enjoyed those, but they were not physical things in the world. But now, with King's March and NPCs, it feels so much better seeing your progress, which is directly linked to your town's development. One thing that is kind of insane is the gold cost. Boy, does this ramp up. I usually go in every 40 to 50 minutes when a shipment is done. I got 35k gold on my character from mapping in the endgame and after 5 minutes I leave King's March and I am bled dry. That is kind of the experience I had so far. A town needs resources and I'm the one having to feed the machine. Another minor thing that I had to solve for myself was turning off most gold drops in my filter. You still automatically pick them up, thankfully, but I was kind of annoyed seeing a bunch of small gold drops, like 20 there, 60 here, another 55 over there. It got really annoying to me. Just a little tip if you have a similar experience. Beside that, I still hope for that oh wow moment when a ship comes back to my town and I look at the rewards. Hopefully sooner than later.
I highly recommend playing 3.25 if you aren't playing it already. In addition to my first impression of the league, my Lightning Arrow character was an amazing decision as a league starter, because zooming through maps is fun to me, and I also got my two Void Stones. Maven, on the other side, didn't cooperate after attempting her for 12 minutes. But I defeated one of the new bosses in the expansion, which I will blur out for the sake of not spoiling it. I think this is a good spot to stop the video and let you get back to grinding. I will make another video in about two weeks about my impression of the league. Maybe GGG is cooking up more content until then. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe so I can hit a thousand subscribers. And don't forget to stay hydrated, gamers.